Hi y'all, it's me again, Regina, for Marsh Knitting 101. Welcome in, my yarning and crafty friends. Welcome in, my new family members and returning family members. It is Monday, April the 1st, but I'm recording this video, so I'm not sure when y'all see it. So I'm doing an unboxing that I will bid off of the Goodwill. I haven't did that for a while, so I was like, I need some, some goodies. So let's see what I got in here. Now this is a little bit of everything. I didn't get a lot of yarn. It was just like a spare of the moment. Let's see what's in the box kind of deal. I kind of like that. Um, let me see if I can fix my collar. And I apologize. My dog likes to bark. Alright, maybe you can see me a little better. Alright, so I'm going to unbag it, box it. And I got this. I bid it. It was $9.99. Like thirty dollars for everything. That's shipping and handling everything. Woohoo! I'm using my computer, so I can't show you the inside. Maybe I can push it there like that. Can you guys see in there? Ooh, let's see what goodies are in here. All right. A star is born. This is some. Is this embroidery cross counted cross stitch? So this is some cross stitch. So I do not know how to do this, so maybe this will be on my new to-do list. There is this beautiful little thing here, and it has everything in it. So is this embroidery or cross stitch? Anyways, it comes with everything, so that's really cool. You got my, I got the yarn and the pattern, so... And I also might do these for like giveaways. Just something for someone to try maybe one day. Ooh, and all. Oh, country cross stitch angel ornament. So there's a little angel ornament kit with the little dolls. So that comes with everything. That's super cute. And I got another one. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it's not too... Maybe if I pull the curtain up. A little bit. Let's see a little better. Now I just feel like I'm super white. Uh, I'm enjoy like the sun is so pretty, so I don't want to block it out too much. So, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm trying to show you too. All right, so there's another little angel with the little star on it. That's super cute. There we go. All right, so oh. And here is little things for the 4th of July embroidery stuff. The American flag. Liberty, that's so cute. And it looks like it has everything in there that you need. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. So there's that. Oh, well, this must go in. I've seen that in there. So there's some material. And oh, look, and there's another cute little angel with a teddy bear. Can you guys see that? There we go. Apologize if you guys are getting a glare. And then we got some stencils that say, maybe if I hold it back. Would you guys help for it? There we go. These are little stencils. It says party time. So it's little things for birthdays that you can stencil on bags and stuff. That's cute. Cute, cute. Ooh. And here's a Boyd Circular 29 inch US 6 knitting needle. You can never have nut. You can always have more needles. Oh, wow, this is cute. Needle size tags. I've never seen that. That is pretty cool. I guess if you want to remember what size hook you're using, say if you got to take them off and use them for something else, you can put your size there. That's cute. That's creative. And there's another little angel. That one's cute with the ponzettas. I'm curious, has any of you guys done any of these cross stitches? Um, here is thumble pads. I guess I'd be good if once I start to learn to sew a little more. So my finger doesn't get poked all the time. That's a good invention. And here is some clover bamboo. 
um, number three size. So there's them. You can never have too many bamboo. And there's another, I think, yep, here's another size of the three. Ooh, stitch markers. I love these little circle ones. These are awesome for knitting. I'm learning to crochet, so I'm not sure if these work better than the, the latch ones. But these ones are really good for knitting. Ooh, oh, look at this. Some Susan Bates crochet hooks. So, wow. And these look, well, these are, like, I know there's, like, I'm not real familiar with all the crochet things, but I feel like these are, are these inline or out? I think that's what that's called. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. So you got F, K, and 10 and uh -huh. You got size F, size 6, US 6, um, US 8, nine, I9, J10, and K. And obviously a tapestry needle is in there. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I'm learning to crochet, so I just need to try different kinds of hooks. It's always good to venture out in a latch work thing. I haven't did latch work forever. That's pretty cool. I don't even know if they still make latch work. And I also got some stuff for beads or necklace making. And some more crochet hook or knit needles. These are US 10. These are like the plastic ones. Um, and then some Susan Bates knit needles. These are a size 9 with the little stoppers on there. I like that. And easy and relaxing, quick way to smile. Felt phase needle punching. Wow, I've never tried that. That looks really fun. It's something new. Um, now with Master Key Chronic Pitch Instrument. What is in the world is this? Ooh. It is evidently if you are a play music and you need to get intoned. That's what this is. I'm not going to blow on it because it needs cleaning. But that's so cool. That's pretty nifty. My husband probably like that because he's a musician. Um, and a piece of material. Just a piece of brown material. Alright. What else? Oh my goodness. I haven't seen these forever. This is a little broom. Oh, that is so cute. Can you guys see it? It's got like a little, a little cardinal sitting on it. <laughs> this is so cute. Alright, what else do we got? We got a whole bunch of material. Oh, these are napkins. These are really cute. Little Christmas napkins. We got red and green with the candy canes on it. That's cute. Um, oh my goodness. These are jumbo point protectors for your knitting needles. Them are humongously big. <laughs> and I've got a lot of embroidery hoops. So I'm guessing it will be time maybe for me to learn to embroid or needle stitch or cross stitch, whatever it's called, stitch. <laughs> and here, oh, cross stitch. Oh, these are cute. These are like little Christmas ornaments. They are cute. Um, and here is something. I'm not sure what it is. Needle punch. Needle punch. I guess it's kind of like cross stitch maybe, but you punch the need the yarn through. I've never tried that either. There is so much stuff out there that's so I don't even know what it's out there. It's a little snowman that's super cute for Christmas. And here is some Lion Brand US 19 um double or needles. Or pointed needles, not double pointed. Then I want to speak. Oh, so that's why they got these to put on that elastic. Uh, and you can make scarves and stuff. That'll come in handy if I wanted to make a scarf real quick. And here is some more 
uh, Clover Bamboo Knit Needles. Um, this is a size 7. And here is a, another little angel with the dolls on it. That's really cute. I was wanting to do a vintage old Christmas themed one day. So maybe if I learn how to do some cross stitch, I will be able to do it. And here is, this one's really cute. It's got like the little like flowers on it for the Christmas angel. And it has everything in there that you possibly need to make it. So that's really cool. And here is um, Stitch and Hang. Sugar and Spice. All these are like little gingermen. Gingerbread men. And here's some material. And here's a heart. Here's another heart. Um, another gingerbread. Sweet, sweet Tooth. Um, Grandma's Baby. <laughs> and then I guess these are the little teddy bear. Uh... There's another little teddy bear, so that's assuming that's what these little things are. That's really cute. Has everything in there, all but the needle. But still, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of a lot of stitching there. <laughs> oh, and here is a couple more angels. These are from Aim, so I know that store does not exist anymore. And here's one that says Joy. These are really cute. Um, and then here is. Um, Moon Sleep Birth Record. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. There's nothing on it, so it's empty, but it has the yarn and stuff, so there's that. Ooh, I like these. These are the double pointed knitting needles. These are size 8. These are fun to work with. I'm still learning, but they're fun to work with. And then you got some punch needle embroidery fabric. So there's that if I want to get into punching things, I guess. <laughs> and then here is another one. Uh, kit includes fiber and floss for the little mat pillow. So this is for the pillow. So that's really cute. Now this one doesn't have any material in it, so. But that's pretty cool. Alright, what else do we got in here? We got, what are these? Oh, these are, ah, like hole punch things with the little designs. Well, that's really cool. You got a house with hearts. You got flower, the moon and the stars. Um, another little flower. And a diamond. These ones are actually kind of heavy. That's pretty cool. So far, hopefully you guys are liking this. There's a lot of neat stuff in here. I was like, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I get yarn all the time. I dropped it. I'm always getting yarn. So I was like, let's change it up. And see what else I got in here. And here's an empty pack. <laughs> and then, I a big old bag of material. Um, it kind of looks like pieces of material so I mean that could be a win or a lose I know I don't really make things yet but I got a sewing machine and I want to learn to sew some stuff but there's all there was all kinds of yeah there is all kinds of scrap yarn or scrap pieces in here so I'll look through that later on there's a lot in there so there's like a little flamingo Get the flamingos. And then there is another bag of material pieces. Um, this is like color coordinated. Let's see, like, uh, I'm sure it's just probably like ends and pieces. Like, you know how we save our scrap yarn for something one day? Maybe this is what this person was doing because. Oh, no, is that like colored cut out to pieces? No, it's just scrap pieces, but you never know. I might need some, maybe make them quilt one day, and I can use these little scraps to make stuff. Well, 
No, see there's little squares and stuff. So this should be fun to go look all the way through. Alright, and now we are down to what yarn I got. There was some yarn. There's Mary Maxim Worstered Weight. And this is in like a soft tupo tupo. Um and then there's a no label, but it's kind of like a bluish gray. Kind of soft. I'm not sure what kind of yarn that is. But it's like a oops, excuse me, a four ply. And then some red yarn with no thing. It feels like a four ply, like a red heart maybe. I'm just estimating, I don't know. And this is ping ping fun. Shorebert. Um, it is 50% acrylic, 30% polymade, 10% mohair, 10% linen. So, but it feels like it's used and it's blue and it's got some little halo to it, some fuzz. So that's kind of cool. And then there is another white bag or a white bag another it's a ball of yarn these two feel like the same so like the same kind of yarn and then there is a bliss 63% acrylic 27% polyester 10% mohair um item it doesn't say vel Valley yarns. Never heard of this. So this is like a vintage yarn. So there's that, and then there's a little ball of something down there. It's like in a brown green color. So let's stick these up here. And then let's stick these back in here. Alright. Ooh. This is beautiful. Look at that. It's got some blues and some pinks in it. Mm, I don't feel no yarn label, so it's a mystery yarn, but very pretty. It looks like a two, maybe a one weighted yarn, maybe some soft yarn. Very, it's not super soft or squishy, but very pretty. Can you guys see the colors? I like that. All right. And then, ooh. Dark one. Bohan, oh, it is 70% so wooly, 70% vegan wool, 15% suede, 15% silk, 15% bamboo, and 15% bamboo. Maybe that's bamboo, maybe it's bamboo silk wool. Um, made in Germany, so that's probably, and it's called. I'll put the name up there. You guys can see it. Oh, these are really pretty colors. Maybe that's tulip. Very pretty. And it is, um, it does not say, it's 100 grams. So the needle size is 2 millimeter. Very pretty. It's like fall, but spring, maybe? <laughs> All right. What else do we got in here? Ooh. And this is Lornate's Lace Hand-Dyed Yarns. Sockbox Cinnamon Cane is the color. It is 430 yards. It's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. And... It is like a, what's it called? Cinnamon? Is that what it's called? Yeah, cinnamon cane. It, it is brown. You guys can tell. It's brown. Very pretty. Very just natural color. Natural tone. Mm. For all you purple lovers, look at this one. This is Yarn Hollow. Um, toy, 
It's 100% Marina Superwash. It is 210 yards, and the color is Glover Violet. Very pretty purple. For y'all, you purple lovers. There you go. There's you some purple fiber for the day. All right, and then and the last one. Oh my goodness, this one's beautiful. And look at these colors. This is spring colors. This is Manos Maxim the Fair I I Fair Trade Merino. Um, hand. I don't think it is in English. We recommend buying enough yarn. Um. It is Melt Away Mints, 219 yards. Um, needle size 6 to 8. So it's kind of a bulky weight. Very pretty. It's, it's like Easter. Like, oh, I can see like the old, like the old time mints. Very pretty. This is why, like, if you watch my other video or you watch this video, I don't know which one video comes out first. But this is why I love hand dyed yarn. It is so pretty. And everyone does a fantastic job. Very, very talented hand dyers. Everybody. I would like to try this one day, but I'm not quite there ready to do that. So, I think... Oh, I have one, one lonely plastic needle. All right, so that is all of my bidding from the Goodwill, which I bought. I got the whole box. I bid at ten ninety nine. No one else bid on it, so I got it for seven, like thirty dollars, basically. So I think I got my money's worth. So there is a little bit of everything. I'm kind of curious to check out the fabric. Maybe one day I will make a quilt along with all the other stuff we all are new crafters and new hobbies we want to do, huh? And there's some nice needles. So that was a pretty good deal. Hopefully you guys think it was. Hopefully you guys could see it and hear me, everything. <laughs> so I want to put everything back in there. Okay, that's and this is like really heavy. It was 17 pounds altogether, so I'm assuming this is probably what weighed the most. There is all kinds of fabric. So if anyone has any good ideas what I could use fabric scraps for, let me know. Like, is there certain quilt things like I could cut out and work on? Oh yeah, this one has got all kinds of little cute things. I see like it says kiss, like bats, flamingos, <laughs> cherries. <laughs> All right, and I guess I will learn to embroidery or needlepoint this thing. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and could see everything because the sun is coming in and the lizard tanks are there, so I don't have a light uh, a curtain up so they can get the natural lighting too. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope I said that five times already. So, I will let you all go and enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, have a wonderful and blessed day. And rock yarn. Bye, y'all. Have a wonderful day.